The Lord became my protector. He brought me out to a place of freedom. He saved me because he delighted in me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, O oh Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. Now will I praise those godly men, our ancestors, each in his own time. But of others, there is no memory. For when they ceased, they ceased. And they are as though they had not lived. They and their children after them. Yet these also were guilty men, whose virtues have not been forgotten. Their wealth remains in their families, their heritage with their descendants. Through, through God's covenant with them, their family endures, their posterity for their sake. And for all time, their progeny will endure. Their glory will never be blotted out. The word of the Lord. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise to the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adores, and he adores the lowly with adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exalt in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats and in, the glory, in his glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. Alleluia, Alleluia. I chose you from the world, 
to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple area. He looked around at everything and, since it was already late, went out to Bethany with the twelve. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, he was hungry. Seeing from a distance a fig tree in leaf, he went over to see if he could find anything on it. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves. It was not the time for figs. And he said to it in reply, May no one ever eat of your fruit again. And his disciples heard it. They came to Jerusalem, and on entering the temple area, he began to drive out those selling and buying there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who were selling doves. He did not permit anyone to carry anything through the temple area. Then he taught them, saying, is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples, but you have made it a den of thieves. The chief priests and the scribes came to hear of it and were seeking a way to put him to death. Yet they feared him because the whole crowd was astonished at his teaching. When evening came, they went out of the city. Early in the morning as they were walking along, they saw the fig tree withered to its roots. Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. Jesus said to them in reply, Have faith in God. Amen, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it shall be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, all that you ask for in prayer, believe that you will receive it, and it shall be yours. When you stand to pray, forgive anyone against whom you have a grievance, so that your heavenly Father may in turn forgive you your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. So Jesus does something a bit strange, cursing a fig tree, and it withers. It's a prophetic act of his. The fig tree in the Old Testament, uh, in various places, God used to represent his own people, Israel, God's chosen people. And he used it usually to explain that they were not bearing fruit. They were like a fig tree that was barren and didn't bear the fruit that it ought to bear because it's, they were God's people. Uh, it says it's not the season here for figs, which is, again, quite an interesting thing. Uh, but Jesus Christ himself determines fruitfulness. S spiritually, it's always the season to bear fruit for Jesus. When his visitation is near, when he's near us and we're, we're living in him, we're connected to the vine who is Jesus Christ and the sap of his Holy Spirit is flowing through us, it's always the season for fruit. Jesus defines the season uh, by his existence and by the fact that he allows us to be uh, joined uh, to him. And Jesus is God. Jesus is God. Here is God uh, hungry for fruit, and uh, it's not being given physically in the fig tree, but it represents God hungry for the fruit of love, hungry for the fruits of the Spirit that his people should be living. Jesus Christ, who's God, longing for those of us who are joined to him uh, to bear fruit. And Jerusalem, Jesus' people, oh, there he is visiting them. And they're missing the time of the visitation. They're missing 
this season that should be a season of bearing fruit by accepting him as a savior and being alive in him. And so that's what he is symbolizing. His nearness is there. Fruit will be born where people's hearts are open to Jesus Christ. Let's open our hearts to the nearness of Jesus' body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist to transform us and bear fruit through us and in us. With great trust in our Lord's goodness and mercy, we bring to him our needs for the continued renewal and purification of the church in the spirit. We pray to the Lord. For policymakers, that the Lord bless their efforts to protect the dignity and sanctity of human life. We pray to the Lord. For just and creative solutions to break the cycle of poverty. We pray to the Lord for abundant blessings on this faith community in our efforts to bear good fruit in building up the kingdom. We pray to the Lord for the faithful departed, including today's mass intention and David uh, Zerger, whose funeral is at the funeral home today, and for all of our family members and friends who've gone before us that they find joy in the presence of the Father. We pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, we thank you for hearing our petitions. We ask that you use these prayers joined to the sacred heart of your Son in this Eucharist to accomplish your glory. All this we pray through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant us What you grant as the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward. Through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I will sing to the Lord, who has been bountiful with me. Sing psalms to the name of the Lord Most High.
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. One announcement for anybody who's able to stay after Mass, Anthony could use help putting in uh, the sheets in the back of our uh, hymnals for the ordinary parts for ordinary time. So anybody who could, who could stay by uh, after Mass, that'd be great. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Saint Joseph, protector of Holy Church and terror of demons. <laughs>